So he says, the words of this verse, 10th Canto, chapter 29, verse 31, they show the Brajagopi is combining the two rasas of Shant and Sringar. And uh, the English translation was passive adoration. Passive adoration, passive adoration is Shant, and Sringar Rati is passionate, erotic love. That's understood easily by all. So the gopis, that's on one side, because they're saying, oh, stubborn one, just accept us, reciprocate with us, means we, we want to love you, so love us in return. So that's the Sringar aspect, that the gopis are uh, rebuking Krishna for wasting time. They've come to Krishna for a purpose, to dance, it's a, it's a romantic night. It's a full moon night. It's the middle of the forest. So they want romance. They want reciprocation. It, it's when uh, lovers and beloved come together, then they exchange and have so much wonderful fun together on different levels of intimacy, dancing and singing and eating and playing and wandering and talking and walking and joking. As above, so below. That's why it's Nara Leela. We have... We can see so many parallels or similarities between our own movements and actions and that of Krishna. Krishna walks through the forest with his arm around Radharani, and Krishna is saying, Oh, Radharani, look at that bird, that night bird in the tree. He's not singing. Oh, let's, let me see if I play my flute. If he, maybe he's sleeping. Let's see. So Krishna, Radharani says, Why don't you take your flute out and play? Maybe he'll wake up. So Krishna says, Yes, good idea. And then Krishna plays his flute. Then the bird's sleeping in the trees. Oh, wakes up. Then sings his little song. Radharani says, oh, do you know what he's saying? And Krishna says, no, you tell me. So in this way, Krishna and the gopis, uh, Krishna and Radharani, they walk through the Banbihar. It's called Banbihar Leela, Bangamana. So they walk through the forest, and they, they joke and they, about the nature and about the moonshine. Like this. So this is, we see sometimes in our own plane of mundane, materialistic, temporary existence, the man may walk through the forest with his dear one and his arm resting on her lowered shoulders, <laughs> as it says in the Bhagavatam. His arm rested on her shoulders, and they're joking. And, and, and maybe you can recall. So that's why people have a hard time transiting giving up their attachment to their own Nara Leela and transiting from there to the transcendental Nara Leela Bhagavan. Because in India, amongst young, dashing, passionate young men, if one man, if one dashing, passionate young man, if he had, like most of them, I don't know about dashing, but they're all passionate. <laughs> That's for sure. Dashing means attractive. And... And uh, more than that, many things. That's a nuance in style. So if the man, the pa he has many girlfriends, they say, they joke with him. His name is Sunil Gupta. They say, oh, hey, hey, Sunil, you, 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 you became Christian, you're a Christian now. They say, hey, Krishna, you're a Christian now. So that young, the teenage boys, they joke with each other. And it's a, they're offensing, offensive, they're offending Krishna. They're, they're relativizing him. They say, oh, he's, he's just like us. So if the boy has met three or four girlfriends, they say, oh, now you're, you're like Krishna? And, and they all laugh, ha, ha, yeah, yeah, I'm Krishna. But, so you maybe, don't, you know that? No. So when you live here, you know, a lot of things are not worth knowing anyway. <laughs> but it has sometimes a relevancy because Krishna warns for such mentality. He warns and says, beware. So he says, in the Gita, he says, no, he says, yeah, avajanati mamura manushim tanamashita. He says, they, these fools, these, these Sunil Gupta, and please forgive me if you're listening and your name is Sunil Gupta, but <laughs> it's just a random name. But they think that they're, they're having Nara Leela. Oh, Bhagavan's having Nara Leela, and he's Nara. Nara means human being. I'm human being, and he's the human being. So, he, you know, I'm Krishna. So, avajananti ma mudha. Avajananti, when I come down, they don't understand that when I descend, they're foolish. Manusham, manusham tanumashritaha. 
They think when I've become or taken shelter of a manush, manush tanu, the form of the bad body, body, <laughs> body of a man, then I'm a human like them. But that there's, they're not because Krishna lifted Govardhan on the hill. Of course, they say, well, Hanuman lifted the mountain. So that they argue back and forth. The main thing is that, that Krishna can, can have 16,000 girl friends and no one gets pregnant and there's no abortions and there's no murders and there's no divorce and there's nothing. Because, and you can't do that because you play around with a few and then you'll have so many problems everywhere. What to speak of the, the, the venereal disease that you acquire yourself and die shortly after with AIDS or whatever. So obviously there's no comparison to Krishna's intimate amorous affairs and we mundane creatures of the limited realm of birth and death. 